the way I say things is not always the way that I mean them. And I think I imply, I might have implied on accident that the judge was involved with what happened to me at the jail. And obviously the judge wasn't. The, the sheriff's department basically is where the judge judge's office is, but well, that's the courthouse where I don't know if the sheriffs uh, they have. It, it feels like it's it's an extension of the jail, but I don't feel like that's actually the case. Um, what I'm trying to say is um, I don't think the judge was involved with what happened to me at the jail, but clearly there was someone that was trying to put me in danger. There was someone that was like specifically putting me around violent people, because um, my first cell the guy threatened to beat me up in my sleep. My second cell, I guess he was in trouble for being violent and there were, it was like in the fighting ring, you know, where like someone wanted me to pop my door or set my, do set my door or whatever. And then my third cell is where everyone really wanted to fight me. Like, I mean, I've, I've never had someone try so hard to fight me in my life. Like it's, it's like when he walked up to like this white guy who says nigga all the time, like literally went to this black guy and said nigger because he was trying to fight him. Um, he tried to fight me like that, but he wasn't, like, he wasn't the only person trying to punk me there. Um, but then I got moved to the other place where, like, I was outnumbered by the Crips, and it seemed like a dangerous situation when I had a beef with a Crip. So, what I'm trying to say is I think the, the Sheriff's Department was trying to endanger my life, and it wasn't the judge, and I accidentally might have said something like that, and I don't believe that. Um, but, um, I understand why he thought I had contempt for the court. It's because I had, um, this notion that there are people that are undercover cops that are, uh, trying to be on both sides of the law, the legal system. I want to be your lawyer. So you'll talk to me and I can get, uh, int intelligence information by being your lawyer and, I want you to, um, um, I, I want to be your judge and I want to be, I mean, I'm not saying that I, I know that's the case, but what I do know is that this judge was outright rejecting my, um, my, my, everything I said as, as me being insane, which me not being insane means I bullets pass people's heads. It means people getting shot in your front yard. It means getting beat up by grown men when you're only like 14 years old. It means like, Friends getting raped because we can get away with it. It means getting robbed at gunpoint. It means, I mean, I, I, I don't want to talk about what it means because I'm sick of it. It means getting set up by the cops. Like, because you do, you're, you do minor crimes and then they want to turn it into bigger crimes. It means trying to get set up to do statutory rape. It means, it means like your whole life you're in is in danger, not because of the cops, but, al but also because of the cops. Because you have this much bigger problem other than the police that you always have to deal with. And that's why everyone's so secretive. But um, I just want out of this life. I don't think this life is worth it. And um, that's why it's like, well, you want to take my gun? You don't want me here, then that's fine. I'll just, you can, you can have my gun and you can have my grandpa's gun and you can have my grandpa's other gun and you can have my um, dad's gun and you can have my first gun, and you can have my brother's first gun, and you can have my other gun. Um, you can have an, uh, I'll, I'll go live somewhere else because um, I don't want to be afraid anymore. Like Colorado, it, it, the cops are mean here, and they're mean enough that they have convinced me um, this life that I didn't choose, that I starved myself to try to get out of, it didn't work. I starved myself for 47 days, and, and half of my hunger strike was in Colorado Springs. It didn't work, and um, I didn't get out of my life because I didn't try hard enough. I, I didn't die. I was blacking out. I didn't die, so um, maybe I should just go live somewhere that life isn't as as, luxur as luxurious, but people are nicer, and you don't have to worry about people threatening you with guns, and you don't have to be afraid to be on your back porch. You don't have to worry about people getting shot in your front yard, so um, yeah, that's it. Sorry about implying things. I, I really didn't mean to. Like I, I honest, honest to God, I didn't actually mean that because I don't think that this this um, judge was trying to kill me. But I do think people at the sheriff's department were definitely trying to get me in a fight, 
Like they were like, they were, th this, this fourth guy who hates Jews that much, like he, he hates Jews that much and he hates gay people that much and he hates the N word people that much, but you can't say it. Um, he, um, yeah, he was like very much set up for me to like not be able to resist getting in a fight. It's like, they, we know he's violent, violent. Trust me, we know he's violent. Well, I haven't gotten in a fight since I was 15 years old. Trust me, we'll prove it. We're gonna put him in like the most excruciating situation that like to put someone in where they're not allowed to fight, um, which I didn't need to fight. I needed to leave, but I can't leave because you trapped me in a cell with this guy for four days and all he does is rant about Jews and call me Johnny Jupont. Johnny Jupont, I'm gonna call you Johnny Jupants because Moses, Moses is a dirty Jew. Moses is a dirty Jew. Moses is a dirty Jew all freaking day while I'm sleeping. Johnny Jupont, Johnny Jupont. All Jews need to die. That's what this guy's telling me. I mean, really, like, you think you're not trying to start a fight? No, of course not. That It was just a coincidence that I picked that guy, the guy that spent that much time in ASEG, which is, like, you're segregated because you have a personality problem. You get in fights a lot. He had hurt hand, hurt hand from fighting too much. So all I'm saying is, like, the sheriff's department, like, who controls my ability to have a gun, just, like... In, in my opinion, you can say it's not an assassination attempt. It's it's like assass assassination attempt on who you put with me. No, we know you're a great fighter. Well, like, you know I'm a great fighter that's going to try to kill this guy. So you're trying to kill the person that I'm with. Like, you hate him that much. And it's like, God, it's like, really? Like, that's who our police are? Apparently it is, but I don't know. I, I'm, I, 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 that's why I'm just done with this country.